Everyone in this room is better for knowing Katie. You love so deeply, selfishly, and unconditionally, and I know that Joey is the best partner for Katie because I've seen him mirror these traits for her. And thank you all for being here. Tom told me on more than a few occasions, he said, Steve, someday, Katie and Joey are gonna get married and they're gonna be really, really happy together. It's obvious we are that perfect match Ain't no catch, you and I will make it last Please, you bet on me and everything will be alright Take a chance, ain't no risk You and I won't hit and miss Give yourself to me and we'll be more than friends for life By the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you, you husband and why is it except for you? Now, Katie and Joey met in high school. They were lifeguards at Orland Park swimming pool. Two years later, they became friends. A few years after that, they became a little more. Their love brought Caden into the world, their shining star and joy. This summer, Katie finished her first half Ironman race in honor of her dad. And of course, her number one fans, Joey and Caden were right there, cheering her on every step of the way. Over the years, we've watched Katie and Joey's relationship grow. And there is no doubt that they are each other's number one. Their relationship is not only governed by love, but by a real friendship and a trust and a respect for each other that only true friends and partners can have. These are the qualities that all great relationships are made of. And now Katie and Joey are ready to take their relationship to the next step, to the sanctity of marriage. And we are all honored to bear witness and share in their special day with them. Caitlin. From the moment you came to my house in 2013, I knew you were someone special. From your bright smile to your ability to say your truth, no matter how blunt. Who would have guessed back then we would be here today? From corny love letters to listening to music late at night, it didn't take long to realize we had developed a special bond. Through the years of visiting you in college and doing odd jobs for your dad, our bond had grown stronger. Then one day, we found out some wonderful news. Caden. Amazing how two people could create such a beautiful thing. Unfortunately, us being young and dumb decided to go our separate ways while always putting him first. Through the years of growing up, amazed, we found our way back together. The past few years, we have created a beautiful family, a bliss life. You are my motivation to grow and become a better me and a great father. With your love and patience, we can live like Jack and Sally. I said I never wanted to get married because I always wanted to be a randage. You and I both know that a last name change definitely can't take that away. Our story consists of over 10 years of chapters, the good, the ugly, and the bad, but here we are. You know, I've always heard right people, wrong time thing, and that was definitely us. <laughs> as just kids and then having a kid. We were still growing up ourselves, learning all about being parents, while I was also grieving the loss of mine. We had so much to learn while trying to be a happy family. We went to see what else was out there, spend time apart, and then focus on ourselves. 
But we always came back to one another. We grew up. We put in the work, not only for Caden, but for ourselves. I'm so proud of the father that you are and the man that you've become. Thank you for never giving up on me, even when I had. Thank you for always loving me and Caden endlessly and always putting us first. Thank you for always making breakfast on the weekends, even the ones that you work. Thank you for always getting bedtime ice cream and letting us eat in bed, even when I promise that this time I won't spill. Just a bit time. We've gone through a lot of comforters. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the world's greatest gift, our son, during the darkest times. Thank you for being my dad's buddy when I was away at school and for the endless Home Depot runs. <laughs> and for all of you that know my dad, you know it takes a special kind of patience to go to the store with that man. <laughs> Joey, I promise to always be thankful for you, even when you load the dishwasher wrong. <laughs> but most importantly, I promise to always love you endlessly. Joseph, do you take Caitlin to be your wife to love and honor, to have and to hold all the days of your life? I do. Caitlin, do you take Joseph to be your husband, to have and to hold, to love and to honor all the days of your life? I sure do. By the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you husband, and wife. Joey, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Joey Adesco. I'm so honored to be standing here today talking to all of you as one of Katie's Matron of Honors. In life, I feel like we have multiple soulmates. The ones who we love, the ones who we spend every minute with together, and the platonic soulmates. Katie and I are definitely soulmates. Everyone in this room is better for knowing Katie. You love so deeply, selflessly, and unconditionally, and I know that Joey is the best partner for Katie because I've seen him mirror these traits for her. You are one lucky man being married to the most beautiful bride today. Joey, I have been your full supporter since day one because quite frankly, I knew we'd make a full circle moment and end up here today. My dad possessed a, a willingness to help others, whether it was um, small favors, lending his truck, money, uh, whatever it was, he was there, anyone, anytime. And uh, it gives me a little comfort uh, knowing that if I have to uh, hand my sister off to Joey, that uh, you possess a similar quality.
भी 